Dave Fernandez, Rock 101 here with Rod Roddenberry, Roddenberry Entertainment. And uh, why don't you tell us a little about your, uh, your group and what you do and so forth? Well, uh, I'm, I'm more of a figurehead because the talented people like Tori Bell here. Beep, beep, beep. He actually he actually puts the group together and brings the people here. But Trevor Roth inside, he runs the company. Sure. I come in every now and then and I say, oh, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Right. And that's, uh, that's kind of what I do. Okay, well, fantastic. Um, what do you think of, here we are 50 years later and your father's legacy is still going to uh, I mean, I, I, I truly, genuinely love it. Uh, not because it's just going strong, but because of the positive message. Right. And that the people still love the positive message. And I think that's why it's still around 54 years. Right, right. Um, and I love the fans that, that come up to me and say, Star Trek inspired me, Star Trek changed my life, Star Trek gave me hope for the future. Uh, no disrespect to Star Wars, right? Right. I love Star Wars, <laughs> but if, if I were the son of uh, George Lucas, right. sure I would be proud, but I would just be proud that it's a huge jump off. Exactly. This I'm proud because it carries a beautiful message yep. and inspires me. So, that's, so I'm very proud for that reason. Well, great, great. I thank you for taking the time to talk to us, Rod. You guys do a great job out here. Appreciate you so much. Good luck and prosper, everyone. <laughs> With Vic and uh, you know, I Manana. love you. Manana. Manana. It's so much easier See, than it uh, Star Trek continues, and also yeah. he does a lot of great anime voice work that you've probably heard him do. And just the list goes on and on. We probably be here yeah, all night. Full Metal Alchemist, Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, Digimon. Well, fantastic. But, I but what I, I know Vic for the most is, of course, Star Trek continues. And this has just been a passion project of yours for yeah. years. Yes. Yeah. I mean... You know, I, I came to this convention, I started coming to this convention probably eight or nine years ago, before there was a Star Trek Continues. And then I, you know, I wanted to pay tribute to that show because it meant so much to me when I was a little boy. It inspired me to do so many creative things for the first time that I'd never done before. Whether it was build something, or make a costume, or shoot a little movie, or hang models up and try to shoot model shots. Star Trek inspired me. And so I made Star Trek Continues as a thank you back to that show. All right. Well, I, you know, it definitely has touched fans like myself, you know, uh, continuing the five-year mission. Finishing. Uh, yeah. Finishing. There you the go. Yeah, and he finally too. did wrap it up. Uh, why don't you tell people about where they can find Star Trek Continues and, and uh, what they can do basically to kind of continue the fandom? Absolutely. It's so easy. StarTrekContinues.com. We have 11 full-length episodes. It picks up right where the original Star Trek was canceled, and it finishes the five-year mission and leaves everyone right where they were when Star Trek The Motion Picture came. So it perfectly fills that gap. It explains why everyone was where they were when Star Trek The Motion Picture came. Um, 11 full-length episodes, over 10 million viewers, uh, dozens of awards, Guest stars from John DeLancey right. to uh, Incredible Hulk to Farscape to Star yeah, yeah, Wars to Battlestar Galactica, yeah. Buck <laughs> Rogers, Doctor Who. Um, a lot of great guest stars, great classic Star Trek storytelling. Uh, Chris Dewan yes. plays his father's great job, role. Great job. Rekha Sharma, who was in Discovery, was in a guest star in an episode. We've had a lot of great people. Um, check it out, StarTrekContinues.com. Here's the best part. It's free. It is all nothing more but a labor of love to say thank you to Star Trek. And so you can watch it there for free. You can watch all kinds of great behind-the-scenes videos, the making of, blooper reels, all free. And you know what, you did just a fantastic, fantastic job, especially playing Captain Kirk. You, re you really just channel. Well, I love Bill. <laughs> I love Bill, and it was my greatest desire to pay tribute to him. You know how much he meant to me. Thank you for that. That's big manana. <laughs> he did it! Let's stop now, because he nailed it. We are here at the Star Trek Las Vegas convention at the Star Trek Wines booth, and we're going to get an explanation about their upcoming card. Chateau Picard, that is, as a matter of fact, Wines. And what is your name, sir? My name is Spencer Brewer. Spencer. And this is Craig Spurrier of right. Star Trek Wines. Okay. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this? So the story is, when they wrote in the character of 
Jean-Luc Picard 30 years ago. They did not know at that time that there was actually a Chateau Picard that had been in Bordeaux, France for three generations. Complete coincidence whatsoever. So CBS then tried for a decade or two to try to get this wine over and couldn't do it. We ended up getting involved, we're a wine group, and we worked with the Chateau Picard folks in Bordeaux. We worked with CBS, the French government, and the TTB in this country to get this license and brought into the country. John Van Sitters gave us the digital file from the show for us to be able to change. We only changed a few words so we would be compliant. But it still was made in 2386. <laughs> and so this is the real Chateau Picard from Bordeaux, France. The other wine that we brought out on our first run is the Special Reserve Federation wine, which they serve at banquets across the galaxy. This is an old vine Zinfandel from Sonoma County. This is now a prop being shot in several scenes on the right. show, both of them. Awesome. So what you're seeing here is the real thing with the real bottles and real labels. Great, fantastic. StarTrekWines.com. As I was about to say, if somebody wants to order some, where do they go? Uh, you go to StarTrekWines.com. We brought, first of all, 1,701 collector sets, hey. which were hand-numbered bottles. Wow. Sold out in nine hours. We've got a hot total of 250 cases for the show, sold out in 23 hours. So now... <laughs> Round two. We're at round right two, which will be coming in. So sign up soon because there's only another run, and those are now half sold out currently. Well, fantastic. We appreciate you telling hey, us thank about you. it. Thank you guys for dropping by.